Welcome to Chuck Builds. If you've been following my Home Assistant playlist on YouTube, you have installed Home Assistant, you've gotten some add-ons, you've set up your Z-Wave and Zigbee networks, you've likely added an add-on or two, you've probably made an automation in Node-RED, maybe my home security system, and you're starting to get your smart home rolling and you've got enough that it's worth protecting now. At the beginning, if it's just one or two things, if it were to crash or be deleted, it wouldn't be that hard to recreate it. But once you start making automations and start connecting all the pieces, it starts to be quite a lot of work that builds up over time. So today we're going to cover backups. Home Assistant has a great built-in backup tool. And if you didn't notice, when you update your OS or some of your add-ons, it'll have a little checkbox underneath it saying, would you like to back up before you do this update? I suggest you keep that on and then maybe schedule some automatic backups. If you didn't know about that, um, under your settings system and then backups, we can see all of our backup. It's really easy just to click on one and choose restore. And it's just as easy to create one. You just hit this button and choose what you want to back up. But this only works if your machine is still working and your home assistant is still working. You could disconnect your hard drive and connect it to another machine and pull that file off if you needed to. This is really just if something breaks overnight, if there was an update that you weren't ready for or something changed in your config files and you just don't have time to fix it, you can come in here and be like, my Z-Wave network's down, let me just restore to the last time I know it worked. But what if it's bigger than that? What if you have catastrophic failure? What if you have a fire? What if you have hardware failure? You don't want your backups on the same machine. And you could schedule these backups to go somewhere else that's not on your Home Assistant machine. We can see right here the location is data disk. Um, and you can change your default backup location up here in the corner. And you could add a Samba share or something to get it off of your machine. And what I'll be covering here today is the automatic backups to Google Drive. It's an add-on for Home Assistant. I've been using it for quite some time. It's been really, really nice just knowing that all of my stuff is backed up to the cloud. Part of the reason that I suggest Home Assistant OS is you get to keep everything bundled together. If you were to part out your add-ons into Docker containers, you would need to back up each of those individual Docker containers and set up each of those individual Docker containers in whatever portainer or Unraid or whatever you're using to manage those. But inside of Home Assistant, it's an add-on and it'll be there when you restore your backup. So to install Home Assistant Google Drive Backup, we'll go to the add-on section and then the add-on store. So then I'm gonna come up here and go to repositories and then I'm gonna add the Hasio Google Drive Backup. I'm going to close this and I'm going to hit Control Shift R for a force reload and that will clear your cache as well. And it should pop up down here at the bottom and we're just going to click install. And so it finished pretty quick. We're going to come up here to the configuration and we can choose the number of backups to keep inside of Home Assistant, the number of backups to keep in Google Drive and then the days between backup. I usually use the default settings. I haven't noticed that it was using too much space or that I was having too big of a gap. Every three days seems fine to me. Um, my backups and my main one are about five gigs each. And so 20 gigs on my Google Drive is a big chunk. And I think that's more than the free Google storage allows. If you're looking for something like Microsoft OneDrive, Dropbox, I think Amazon has a cloud storage. I'm not sure. If you're looking for something else, I'm sure there's an add-on for it. I just happen to use Google Drive, so I'm doing Google Drive, and it's just easy. So leaving the defaults, we'll go back to info and click start, and then we'll open the web UI, and we'll have to authenticate it with Google Drive, which is just logging in. We're gonna grab our authorization string here, and then paste it, and click save. So inside of the Google Drive backup add-on, we can see my existing backup folder found from my personal home assistant that I'm dumping into Google Drive. And so we're gonna create a new folder. So just to show you, uh, when I click new folder in Google Drive, this was my old one that my personal home assistant uses and it created a new one right here. Um, I wish it had a different name. So what I'm gonna do is come back to the Google Drive backup add-on, go to settings, and then I'm just gonna put a little Chuck Builds 
in front of the backup right there and click save. So that's pretty much it for the Google Drive backups. It's pretty straightforward. Once you get it pointed to your Google Drive folder, you're good to go. Let's say you have catastrophic failure, you switch to a new device and you've reinstalled Home Assistant Operating System. You would then just add this Google Drive backups, reconnect it to your account, see your backup here, click on it, and then click restore. And it'll include all your add-ons, configs, automations, and devices. It's, it makes it so much easier. This was a quick video on just doing a quick backup, something that I think everybody needs to remember to keep doing, especially with something important to them. As you really build out your home assistant, it'll be harder and harder to recreate it. I uh, wasn't too technically involved. I hope that wasn't a problem. If you have any questions or anything that you want to see me cover, let me know. And thanks for watching.